Update uh, 4 on Cyclone Lamb with winds of 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 963 millibars. This is an intensifying storm has been doing so for some time. Its position is 11.3 degrees south, 135.9 degrees east. That's at 2 a.m. UTC, February the 19th. The storm is expected to make landfall in Australia's top end region in the Northern Territories, possibly as a Category 3 storm if it continues in the same vein, uh, before moving inland and eventually dissipating. I must point out at this point that uh, this is on the Saffir Simpson Hogan wind scale. The Australian scale calls for a Category 3 or Category 4 landfall uh, on the Australian scale. The storm is expected to dissipate eventually in around four days' time um, and there's not likely to be any significant effects to the large uh, town city of Darwin towards the west. Cyclone warnings in effect for a large chunk of this area though, uh, from Numbulwar to Goulburn Island, a uh, fair area around there, extending inland as far as Bullman and the island of Groot Eyland as well. And cyclone watch in effect for the small area com comparatively from Numbulwar to southwards to Port Roper along the coast of the uh, Gulf of Carpentaria. Uh, so that's what we're expecting, uh, a strong landfall near the um, near Elcho Island, uh, possibly with winds over 100 miles per hour. Sea surface temperatures then remaining fairly warm, around 30 degrees Celsius, very warm indeed. You can also see the tropical storm Marcia towards your right hand side of the screen too, more on that in a later video. Uh, but as far as this storm's concerned, sea surface temperatures will never be a concern. Same too for wind shear as it stands. Uh, low amounts of wind shear bordering onto the moderate range to the west, uh, definitely towards the north, but the storm isn't moving in that direction. Water vapour shows a very moist environment indeed until you get towards the central part of Australia, uh, well inland, uh, where the moisture is uh, significantly lower as you'd expect for an area like that. Latest satellite imagery then, let's see how the storm's been looking in the past few frames. An eye has never been particularly apparent, uh, but you can see just about how the eye's been trying to pop itself out of the uh, centre of the storm, but the central core of the storm remains very um, intense indeed and always been the, a factor in this storm, always been a characteristic. Um, so we're probably going to be looking at heavy rainfall, particularly that northeastern uh, tip of the top end of Australia um, is probably going to see the heaviest of the rainfall, the most amount of rainfall because it's been going like that for several days now. As of February the 19th at 2am UTC we currently have two storms active of course I already mentioned Marcia, of course we have Lamb as well um, and the two other invests 90S and 91S likely to dissipate any time now. So this is the 10th storm to form, Marcia of course made it number 11 in 2015 worldwide. Six of these have become category 1 storms with winds of 74 miles per hour plus. Of course Lamb was the latest and maybe it has a chance to be the fourth category 3 storm with winds of 115 miles per hour sustained or higher, who knows. Uh, two of those three becoming category 5 storms believe it or not as well. Uh, considering we're only two months into 2015 that's quite a feat. You can visit Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13. Of course, this is probably where you're watching this video. And of course, social pages, uh, Facebook and Twitter, Force 13. Uh, just search it on there, you should find us fairly easily enough. Of course, you can um, also speak to me personally on Skype at Fool13 on there for Tropical Weather Chat. And you're always more than welcome to join the chat room on there. Uh, just ask for an invite once you add me on Skype. And then you'll be able to communicate with other storm trackers. Next update on this storm follows at 2pm UTC, 12 hours from now.